Hey guys, John Engel here, and I've got a lot of projects around the house that need to be completed and taken care of. Here is one project that I've put off, one because it needs new tires put on these wheels, and there's some curb rash on these wheels, and I've never done any refinishing on a wheel. So I really don't know what I am doing, and I also needed to purchase some new tires. Well, I purchased tires, and they're coming in Friday, which means I've gotta go ahead and fix all the curb damage before they get mounted to the new set of tires. That means we're gonna have some fun. This also means that I have no idea what I'm doing and you guys are gonna get to see a great how-to not refinish your wheels. I really hope it doesn't work out like that. I like these wheels a lot. Let me start by just taking you on a tour of these wonderful wheels. They are LG World Challenge wheels for my Corvette C5. Now, this wheel is in really great condition. No curb rash, no nothing. This wheel is also such great condition. No curb rash, we're just gonna be able to leave that one alone. This wheel over here has curb rash here. Let me see if I can get you in on it. Ooh, that's not good. Has curb rash up here. Yep, there you see it. And then also has some curb rash right here. That's not gonna be good. The final wheel isn't as bad as that one. As you can see, there's some curb rash up here, but it's light and it goes all the way to here. And then that's really it. Now, the most difficult part is, if I don't touch anything on those front wheels, and I just do these back ones, am I gonna have a different finish on the actual lip than the other two? My hope is that I can make it where it's close enough that I won't have to touch the front two. If it is different, then I'll have to touch the front lip or I'll have to do the lip on them all and that way it'll keep the consistency and make it look good. Now I've seen a lot of tutorials on this and I've seen tons of ways to do it. The good news for me is I don't care about these tires, so I don't have to mask them off or worry if I hit it with the sander because they're gonna come off anyway. Now, when I go to do the clear coat, and if I do a clear coat, because I think that these are just machined and polished and you're just supposed to polish the wheel. If I do a clear coat, I'll wait till the new tires are on and I'll mask the new tires off and then I'll do the clear coat over it just in case, well, as the new tires being put on, I'm scared they'll chip the clear coat off of here and I don't want that to happen after I've finished them. So for now, what I think I'm gonna do is just do the lip on the two that have the curb damage and see if I can get the sanding to look just like the other two. That's gonna be the tough part. All right, let's take a look and see what I bought for this. All right, so after watching a few YouTube videos and figuring out exactly what I needed to do, I went to Amazon and I bought this and it was five bucks, you can't beat it. Now, this is the actual part that goes into my drill. It's got a little sponge on it which can be removed if I don't want it, so it's also got a more fixed, rigid version that you can use or a softer one that'll contour. I don't think we're gonna need the contouring, but we'll see. And then it comes with this, which doesn't look like a lot, and these are made in China. And my experience with using these cheap sandpapers is they're not worth a whole lot. So I'll probably go through quite a bit, but the reason I bought this pack, it's got all the way at fine 3000 grit sandpaper, all the way to as coarse as 60. So I'm going to attack those rough spots. I'll probably start out somewhere around 500 and see what it does. And then I'm gonna take it all the way up to 3000 and see if I can get that smoothness that's on these wheels already. Yeah, I don't think that there's anything I can do but get started now. I'm not looking forward to it. Why? Because I'm gonna screw something up and I like these wheels. But here they are. Whole bunch of sandpaper. Hmm. I gotta tell you, for the amount of money that I spent on this kit, if this works and it does it, it's gonna cost me $5 to refinish these wheels. If it doesn't and I screw it up even worse, well, I'm not really out the wheels, so I guess I really haven't lost anything, but I'll have to pay someone and I think it's, 
It's somewhere between $70 to $100 a wheel to have curb brass taken off. I don't want to spend that. All right, let's give it a shot. All right, we're going to start with this wheel because we have some of the strongest damage right there. Once again, I'm not going to mask off any of the wheel or the tire. I'm only going to try to get this one edge. I'm not going to try to get down in there. This has got some of the worst damage on this wheel. I'm starting out with a P400, not P500 because, well, um, they didn't have a 500 grit inside of the uh, kit. So this is 400 grit and it's on just the stationary one, no padding in there. This is a $5 fix. Let's pray. These little pads go pretty quick. But my biggest thing is I gotta get that down, so I'm gonna go more aggressive. I'm gonna try a, I'm gonna go super aggressive with an 80 grit. Just to knock down this top burr. Well, the 80 grit does really good for knocking down that top burr, I'll tell you that. It's, it's working out pretty smoothly. Okay, so I've noticed a few things. One is it's a good thing I'm getting rid of these tires because I'm sanding those. The worse that the curb rash is, obviously, the harder it is to fix. However, it is doing a pretty good job on the sections that I have taken care of, like right over here. Here I haven't touched yet, but here and also here, it's starting to get better. Now, there is some really curb damage on this one right here. I don't think it's ever gonna be perfect. What it will do is it'll smooth it all out. Yes, there'll be some gnawing there, but for the most part, you won't notice it. Um, so that's, that's what I'm going for. So I'm gonna hit these few spots, and uh, then let's come back and take a look. I do think the more aggressive, especially for these pieces that have some, some metal that came up like this one, my thumb hits it. So I'm really gonna have to take off some material there. And then I think I'm also gonna have to come in from behind here just to smooth it out on the edge. Uh, it shouldn't be terrible, but it's gonna take a little time. So let me get started on that and then I will show you my progress. See, you can still see right there where it's not it's not as nice as it should be. But over here you probably can get it to where it should be. I think for those spots you need more aggressive than less aggressive. You can see it starts tearing up these pads. Wow. This pad is coming off, but this is the problem with these Chinese pieces. I'm telling you, buy a better tool, you get a better product. However, for five bucks, it's still doing pretty dang good. I'm not terribly upset with how this is coming out. This one by far is the worst one though. Look at that. Oh, I hate that. But it's coming out, it's coming out. Everything's working. Still working on this one. I went over to this wheel because it didn't have as bad of damage. And my goodness, look at the difference already. I'm amazed at just using this $5 kit and a little elbow grease. I've gotten rid of almost all of it. Now you can see a little bit of a abrasion there. Um, I've still got to go over it and get it to kind of fit with the finish. There's no more of the curb rash. So this is working out great. Save me a little money. Now once again, remind you, this is not for a show car. If this was for a show car, I'd just pay to have someone do it. But for something that I just wanted to look better so that it'll look really nice on the car, you can take it to car shows and things like that and not feel that your wheel looks really bad. This is the way to go. So far we have used 80 grit, 400 grit, 1000 grit, 2000 grit, and 3000 grit on here. Now what I'm gonna try to do is use a little bit of Turtles Polishing Compound. Why? Because this stuff just is the best. I'm telling you, for the price, for what it does, I've used this stuff all my life. 
I absolutely love it. If you don't like it, tough. We're just gonna put a little bit of that onto, whoopsie, <laughs> onto here and just start working it in. And all that's gonna do is take off all of that nice hazing from where we worked it. See, look at that. Okay, so I'll admit, this is not a perfect job, and by no means am I a professional. However, I spent less than an hour on this project. If you truly want to do this correctly, there are tons of YouTube sites out there that can show you how to start out and make sure that you sand it, tape it off, make sure that there's no inconsistencies, and then spray paint it. For me, I wanted something to make a curved wheel look like it wasn't curved. People aren't going to be looking and inspecting my wheels like they would do at maybe like a car show or if it was some sort of judging. My car's never going to be judged, but I want it to look a bit nicer. So this was what I did. And really, $5 on eBay. A whole pack came with the little thing to put onto the drill. A drill and then some turtle wax polishing compound made a huge difference. All I was looking for is to make it so that you didn't get drawn straight to that curb damage and I say that we've achieved that goal. So happy with how it came out. My tires should be here Friday so they'll get put on. Then I can put these onto the Corvette and I'll obviously show you what they're going to look like. The only problem with this is I did not get center caps with these. I ordered a set of center caps off of eBay and they fit the hole but they don't fit the back side. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that as well. But that's another problem for another day. At least right now my wheels are ready to go on. All I need are my tires. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me some comments. If you didn't, leave me some comments. Hit the like button, subscribe. We'll catch you next time.